was for entertainment purposes only. And if you want true legal advice, contact your own lawyer. So we're talking about the burning of an LGBT flag in Iowa. And Texas v. Johnson in 1989 came out, and it was reaffirmed by U.S. v. Eichmann case, that the First Amendment freedom of speech allows you to burn the American flag. Before, you weren't generally able to burn it. You could be prosecuted for that. In fact, you could be guilty of sedi- a sedition, sedition if we were exactly at war. Right. That's exactly right. So that came out, and Iowa came out in 2016 with a hate hate crime law that basically says you can't you can't do what's called a hate crime, which includes crimes based on sexual orientation. Crimes committed against a person of their, quote, property because of a person's sexual orientation, and then it goes race, et cetera, et cetera. So we're just talking about sexual orientation. So the guy grabs the flag, and he burns it. And this is what's interesting. The county attorney says this in the statement. We added additional hate crime charges due to the belief that Martinez was the guy's name, Burn the flag because of what it represents as far as a sexual orientation. Well, duh, of course he did. He's, well, he's obviously a, that guy's a detective. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, of course he burned it because he was against the LGBT. Uh, he didn't bl- like the idea. Obviously. He didn't like the idea, obviously. Yeah. But the question is, under the Eighth Amendment, no excessive fines uh, or uh, bail or cruel or unusual punishment. And I ask you out there at eight five five. Law Radio, or tweet us at Radio Law Talk, and that's 855-529-7234. Is that excessive? Now, or should there have been a punishment? Well, obviously, if there's a hate crime, there is punishment, but should have been six months in jail and community service and maybe take some some uh, hate crime, you know, classes? And by the way, we're going to, we're going to, Dale to, uh, dovetail an hour two into this about a lawyer that has some uh, anger issues also, but Denise. Yeah, in this particular case, I think what is one of the factors that the courts, you know, took issue with is that it was against a church. Um, it wasn't just against like one person's home or something like that. It was against a community of people right. um, that had this, um, you know, pride flag outside but, of that. Okay, but I, and that's a great point. But what I'm going to bring up is the opposite side. It's an entity. Is that not you're not going against a specific person? And it's not like an LGBT person was at a parade and they were holding it, you grabbed it out of his or her hand, and you burned it in front of them. And by the way, even if that happened, is 16 years you know, uh, excessive or not? Cal- but obviously not a unified community. This is the point. Mm-hmm. Because if it were unified, there would not be that dissension among the ranks. The community themselves may have even stopped them and said, hey, dude, what are you doing? Leave right. the flag alone. Right. But it was not a unified community. There was disagreement on this point. And my whole issue with this whole thing is that people have a right to agreeably disagree even on controversial issues like sexual orientation, abortion, all the stuff that people don't like to talk about. We all have the right to disagree with the conventional wisdom, whatever it may be. Under the the First Amendment. But not not destroy property. Well, That's that's a distinction. Well, wait a minute. Let's stop. Yeah, yeah, let's stop right there. This is the argument, Denise. Correct, but you can destroy the American flag. Is that property? What if my American flag was flying in my at my house and someone came up and grabbed my American flag and went out and burned my American flag on my lawn? They should be punished because of not necessarily the hate crime, but because of taking my property. Correct. So, so what it comes down to, Denise, I, th- I, I think you're correct, but the question is, does that constitute a real, what Cal's saying, a hate crime yes this guy disagreed with lgbt he does uh, clearly doesn't believe in it vandalism vandalism yes but is it Mm -hmm. a hate crime because he wants to burn the flag this judge says yes but to the extreme of 16 years yeah i think that i think that it violates the eighth amendment and if this is appealed it's going to be overturned but i do agree with the premise that it is a church that has a pride flag outside of it and that it's it, even though he has the right to First Amendment, they also have their rights to express their right. opinions by, you know, having the flag and flying the flag. Right. All right. So here is what I will add to this, just taking the other side, looking to find out what the justification was for 16 years. And, and I can't find out what 
I can't find what the crime is for or what the punishment is for felony arson in the mm-hmm. state of Iowa. However, let's do a backtrack here. First of all, arson is burning something that's that's somebody else's. You, you burn somebody else's object. So in Fred's example, and taking the American flag, if I buy an American flag and I burn it, the Constitution and the case says I can do that. In Fred's example, if I take Fred's American flag, I could be charged not because I'm burning a flag per se. I'm charged because I'm burning Fred's property. It happens to be a flag, but I'm burning Fred's property. Correct. In right, this right, case right, here, right. he burned someone else's property, the flag that was in front of the church. Now, in Iowa, they define hate crimes as follows. A hate crime means one of the following public offenses when committed – against a person on the basis of race, color, religion, ancestry, national origin, political affiliation, sex, sexual orientation, age, or disability. Scott, I'm going to stop you there. I got all you interrupted. I said a person. A person, Keep going, keep going. Who's the person? All right, so you've got that here. So if any one of the following is committed because of that belief the aforementioned that, thing. then right. it can be a hate crime and one of them is violation of individual rights under section 712.9 and when you look at that it includes arson so if you commit the crime of arson and they believe that you did that because of sexual hate. orientation the right. and a hate crime then the law there says it becomes one degree more serious under the law so if it was this degree felony then it's a higher degree felony under that and so this i don't know what the punishment is for the next degree higher of arson for him but my guess is he was punished under that statute but yes. here's the issue because that's on that what statute. it called for here's what i want to yeah. bring up on that yes. the issue of that statute so that no, there's no difference then if they go to an LGBT home and burn the home down or burn the f- little flag. What is there a difference? It sounds like there's no difference under the law. Whether they burn the guy's house down. Let's say it's a it's a gay a gay couple, okay? Yes. Um, uh, two, uh, two men and this gay couple and they burn their house down. Yes. Is that the same hate crime as burning the flag? No, it's no, not. No, it's for... going to be Why? enhanced. It, okay. It'll be enhanced if you burn the house down because then it's attempted murder. And, and see, I agree with that. But and, I'm just and, saying, how are they differentiating? And even, let's say they weren't yeah. home. Let's say they weren't yeah, home. Yeah. In Iowa, there's misdemeanor arson where the value of the thing burned is less than like $750. Which is, that's and what And then is. there's felony arson, which is when it's more than that, which would be the house. And so on that example, before you take – but when you mm-hmm. just, just look at arson, take out hate crimes – those aren't the same crimes. Right. And if those were done because of hate, then respectively, both of those crimes would Are be enhanced. upped one mm-hmm. level. Cal. Okay, so my real question about this whole thing, because I love listening to you discuss this because it's fascinating, but my question really is simple. Who is the DA to determine motive? Maybe the guy was an interior decorator and didn't like the colors. <laughs> oh, I mean, on, honestly, yeah. seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. who yeah. is he to decide what's in the guy's mind at the yeah. time he commits the crime? Oh, I, I can answer that. I Please, can answer because that because I think I slope. think that yeah. this the articles that we read about what the DA thought were a bit disingenuous. To be right. a hate crime, it would have to be something proven. that was pled and proven. And so to say that it's a hate crime, that he did it because of that, is a determination that the jury would have to make. Right. And I'm telling you that when you have a guy during the interrogation say, well, I did it because I don't like gay people. Well, okay, that, that's kind of sealing it's an it omission. there. Yes. You know, uh, well, I, I he don't didn't think... say anything, obviously. Uh, no, no, no I, he did. He did? did he? Yeah. Did he? Okay. He made an omission that he did it because of his yes. feelings about the LGBTQ community. community. Got it. And so because of that, it was it was a pretty easy thing to take care of. My guess is that the defense probably pled to that, wanted to bifurcate, so the jury would just hear the case on the arson basis right. and not know his motivation so they could determine whether it was arson. And that had already been And taken the judge care of. is the one that set the 16 years, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he sentenced so, him according to statute. Well, guess what? We're going to follow this, uh, and uh, yeah, it's going to be appealed. Sure. Not just the appellate court. I. I'll put money on it. There's going to be, and we don't bet here, that it's going to the Supreme Court of the United States, not just Iowa. I think it's going to go all the way up, burn a flag, whether or not that is hate crime. Go to the website, radiolawtalk.com. That's radiolawtalk.com.